Today in the Daily Dose, Yom Kippur. During the 10 days of awe that mark the beginning of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, practicing Jews believe that God judges all living creatures, inscribing the names of the righteous in the Book of Life while condemning the wicked to death. For those who fall somewhere in the middle, Jews perform teshuva, or repentance through prayer, good deeds, and reflection on past mistakes. After the 10 days of awe, the Torah commands all able-bodied Jewish adults to abstain from food and drink between sundown on the night before Yom Kippur and nightfall the next day, including restrictions on bathing, using cosmetics, or engaging in sexual relations, under the belief that fasting cleanses the body and spirit in a way that removes the worshiper's focus on material possessions and superficial comforts. Because both High Holy Day celebrations include special liturgical texts, songs, and traditions, rabbis and their congregants read and sing from the Makzor, while on Yom Kippur, the first of five distinct prayer services take place from the evening before the holiday to the last service just before sunset the following day. Among the most important prayer services on Yom Kippur is an atonement ritual, which was performed by high priests during ancient times, concluding with a single long blast of a ram's horn trumpet known as a shofar, which marks the end of fasting by the faithful. On the eve of Yom Kippur, friends and family gather for a bountiful feast that must be completed before sunset which helps the faithful gather enough strength for the next 25 hours of fasting. After the final Yom Kippur service, most people return home for a second festive meal, consisting of comfort foods like noodle pudding, blintzes, and other breakfast-like baked goods. Ultra-religious Jews dress in white during Yom Kippur, which symbolizes purity, while many married men wear kittles, or white burial shrouds, to signify their salvation through repentance, making Yom Kippur the Sabbath of all Sabbaths for practicing Jews everywhere. And there you have it, Yom Kippur, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.